When you're building ETL pipelines and you are operationalizing a lot of ETL into data warehouses or operationalizing building analytical data marts and so forth, one of the really common things you're going to run into is that as you build a lot of these, you're going to begin to lose track of where all the data originated from, um, the new columns that you're creating, the new values you're creating, and, and so forth. And so in order to be able to track those, you need uh, from a enterprise-ready tool, you need the ability to track that lineage of those fields. And so we allow that here with an ADF uh, data factory. So here I am in my data flow. This, this data flow is the taxi demo that we ship with the data flow feature when you stand up a new data factory with data flows enabled. Inside of this uh, data flow for uh, the taxi demo, you can see that what we're doing is taking a couple of CSV sources, joining those together and creating some new aggregates from that data and then we sync those. So over here in the sync you can see that there is a mapping and that mapping is auto mapped so whatever comes in will go out and land into the files in that folder that we directed to. But the inspect tab will give you the metadata about um, those fields and you can see that we are landing these names and they're coming from uh, these different inputs. Now in order to track those if you run many you know hundreds and thousands of these every day you need a way to be able to track them. So within data factory you go over to the monitoring view. So we're in the design service for Dataflow here within Data Factory. If I click on this icon over here in the left navigation panel, I'll be able to monitor. Monitoring will give you the view of the completed pipeline when it's been executed. So this is the pipeline level. So here's a taxi demo that I ran successfully end to end. If I click into that, I'll be able to see the activities that were part of the pipeline. This pipeline was just a simple data flow only pipeline. So um, I can click into that and only see one activity. If I had a series of other activities that were doing other things within that pipeline, you'd see the list of those here. When I click into the eyeglasses, I'll get the details of the execution of that data flow specifically. Now, there's another video that I've uploaded that gives you a focused uh, video just on the monitoring of data flows. But specifically, I want to show you how to get that data lineage uh, information um, to you here in the monitoring view. So what I talked about in the other video is that you want to think about the execution plan of a data flow within the monitoring view of ADF, similar to that of a SQL Server execution plan. And go right from left on this. So let's look at the two different syncs, actually, I'm sorry, three different syncs that we have. Let's look at that first one. When I click on that, I do get, you know, row counts, partitioning, time spent, all that. That's detailed in, in another video. Let's focus on the bottom. The bottom is the lineage of that. And you're going to see, see three different values for the method of how the um, data was landed into these columns. The original source is right here. And then the uh, landed name of the column in the sink is on the left-hand side. And how it was gathered is in the middle. So there you see calculated and used on the second um, sync. We'll stick on this one here because this one has all three values, calculated, mapped, and used. So what this is telling you is that passenger count was a calculated field, calculated column, calculated value. All right? And it came from passenger count. So what that means is that within trip data, there was a, um, uh, a field in there called... So, so now in this case, passenger count is the same name on both sides. And that is because all we're doing in the calculation for passenger count, which is up here within the aggregator here, is we're rounding and summing. So we did not rename that field. Um, we kept it the same. So you have that option in aggregators and drive column and those sorts of transforms here in ADF Dataflow to either create a new column from the calculation or just overwrite it. In that case, we're overwriting it. So the way to read this is um, you say this is the, the column that was landed here on the left hand side in the column and the original source on the right hand side. Trip data is the source it came from and, and passenger count is the column that it originated from. Let's take a look at mapped. So within mapped what we're doing here is we are taking the um, vendor ID from trip data, trip data being this source up here. And all we're doing is just mapping that straight to vendor ID in the output. So we did not do any kind of transformation on that. That was a straight pass through or mapping. Last is used. So when we say used, the way to read this is that what we're saying is that we used these columns over here on the right. So let me expand this out so you can see them all. We use these columns on the right to do things like maybe make some choices. Maybe we use them with another calculation or you can use those in conditional splits or things of that nature. The reason why there's a dash here and nothing for the column is because they're not landed. We do not sync these fields. We simply use them in one way or another from these different sources. So that's how you can view data lineage in Azure Data Factory. Hope you enjoyed.